This is Twit. Brian on the line from uh, Charleston, Indiana. Do you say Charlestown or Charleston? Charleston, Indiana. All right. Hi. Welcome, right. Brian. Good to have you. No, thank you for taking my call. Uh, my situation is I got three Raspberry Pis. Each one has a Logitech <laughs> webcam. Okay, I'm going to just tell you how hungry I am. I just went through my mind, hmm, that sounds good. <laughs> but you're not talking about actual pie. You're talking about little uh, little board, thirty-five dollar uh, with single board computers that are really kind of amazing. You got three of them, huh? Yeah, and each one's hooked up to Logitech webcam. Nice. And they're so you're trying to build a security cam, high. doing a security camera system. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. on the cheap. But you know, if I'd really spent all that that kind of money, I could have probably got a real security camera system. But Hey, it's fun. No, no, yeah, you don't do this to save money. You do this for fun. Yeah. Right? But uh, I've got three of them. they got Logitech cameras on them, and they work pretty good. But last night, I had an intruder come in. Oh, no. <laughs> and they captured the motion pretty well, but it wasn't lit well enough. I hope the intruder was a raccoon or something. Uh, yeah. Oh, good. It captured the motion of the, well, it captured the silhouette. Okay. Yeah, because it's and dark. What you need is a camera designed for the dark, an infrared camera. Yeah, <laughs> if I had that kind of money. But I do have the Hue light system. Ah, now. So you could have the lights come on when the yeah, raccoon comes. Yeah. Yeah. So what? I so I you trigger my Hue light system to come on when it senses motion. I love that. So you already have the Raspberry Pi and motion detection. That's working, right? Right. So what you need and is it a way... the silhouettes of the motion, right. you know? And right. it... This is fun, because no, did, you, did you, like, like use it? Did you use a tutorial to build this, like, in Make Magazine or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. So this is where it gets... This is where making gets really fun. So, you, you know, you're, you're following a cookbook recipe. That's and you I got mean. it all going. But now you're saying, now what I'd like to do is extended. And this is where you're going to be digging into the guts of the thing. So uh, do you have some Python code? Is that what's running to, to do the motion detection? In the background. It's a little over my head. Yeah. <laughs> so what you need is something that will interface with the Hue lights. Hue lights are supported by their own. They have a dedicated hub. But you can also use hubs like the Smart Things hub. You can use other devices. And what you'll need, and I actually, truthfully, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to point you to exactly what you need. But what you're going to need is a device that you can trigger. In that same Python script, you've got one line that says, turn the camera on. You're going to have a line right after it that says, and turn on the hue lights. Maybe do it before. Turn on hue lights, now turn the camera on. But the, yeah. the, that so that particular line is or block of code is going to be specific to the interface that controls the hue lights i i you know you there's two ways to do this there's the f mechanical way to do it which somebody in the chat yeah. room is saying you know just attach a relay it could be any kind of lights and then you know the relay goes boom, and the lights come on or right. since you say well i've got these internet connected lights these hue lights then it's a it's a little bit it's done in software uh, and you'll need a, yeah. a way to trigger the hub or uh, trigger the Hue hub. Like, it's IFTT. Uh, yeah, option. that might be a good. That absolutely, IFTT can absolutely control the Hue lights via either the SmartThings hub or their own Hue hub. In fact, I used to have an IFTT. That's a website, IFTTT.com. Yeah, if this, then that. I F T this T T then that. Uh, dot com. You can have a trigger. I used to have one. IFTT trigger that would say when the sun goes down turn yeah. the lights on right so this would be very similar to that so if you already know how to control if this then that through your Raspberry Pi and your Python code you're yeah. practically done okay I have to look into the Python that's your code. research but that you know what that's easy that's somebody a lot of that's something everybody does you could probably Google if you know IFTTT Raspberry Pi and get the code, paste that in. Okay. This is what this is going to be. This look, it's not going to be easy, but at the right. but it's not going to be impossible. And you know, it's not going to be you're going to be tearing your hair out. 
but and once you get it working, you're going to feel great. And now you're going to take in a big step towards designing more of your own projects instead of just doing cookbook stuff. This is great. This is what you. This is why you did that. Right. You didn't, you didn't, okay. Maybe you saved a little money on a security camera, but really the real reason to do these projects is to learn. Yeah. And that's what you're, that's what you're up to. <laughs> so, yes, All I'm right. glad you mentioned IFTTT. That's a perfect way to do it. All right. Yeah. I'll look into that later. Yeah. So now it's a simple Google, just, you know, how do I, how do I control, how do I send a signal to IFTTT? The neat thing about the Raspberry Pi, it's just, you know, it's the size of a, 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 a Altoids tin, you know, mint tin, uh, or, or a deck of playing cards. The reason I mention the Altoid tin, sometimes people make cases out of those Altoids mints, those super strong peppermint tins for the Raspberry Pi. So it's about that size, size of a deck of cards. It has on it uh, kind of all the things you need to make it a real computer. It has an HDMI port, so you can connect it to a screen. It has a U actually two USB ports, so you can connect it to a keyboard and a mouse. It, it, it has an Ethernet, different Raspberry Pis have different features, but it has either an Ethernet cable or a Wi-Fi capability, or you can add Wi-Fi via the USB. So it is connected to the net. So you can have the Raspberry Pi ping, send a signal out. When it sees motion, the Raspberry Pi's got a, a, a um, one of the things that makes the Raspberry Pi great, it has what's called a GPIO, General Purpose Input Output Pins, that you can connect things to. So he's got a motion connector and a camera connected to those. Actually, the camera's probably connected to the, uh, there's a special camera connector on the Raspberry Pi, but he's got the motion detector connected to the GPIO. So the motion detector is a standalone little unit. It sees motion, sends a signal down into that pin on the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi goes, ah, there's motion. What do I do then? And it looks at the software that you've written and says, oh, I turn on the camera. Now you're going to have it look at the software you've written and see, oh, send a signal over the internet to if this, then that, that we've seen motion, and then turn on the camera. If this, then that is going to handle the back end of the logic. It's going to say, oh, I got pinged by a Raspberry Pi. Let's see what's, what rest, they call them recipes, what recipe I have here on if this, then that. If you haven't played, this is actually a good way to get started. And if you've got kids, great way to teach them about electronics and computers and programming and logic. IFTTT.com, it's a free system. And you can write little scripts. You can have your phone give you a notification when somebody comes in the door. Or you can have uh, the lights come on when it's sunset. You can have it ping you when it's time, when rain is coming, things like that. It's fun to play with, and it's actually real. That's real programming. So you're starting, you're starting your journey as a geek. That's my secret ambition to turn you all into geeks. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Speaking of geeks, here's a guy who's putting a hidden camera in his bow tie. <laughs> I googled Raspberry Pi surveillance system, and this is a this is a make project that you can use. And that's that's what's great about the Raspberry Pi. You can um, you can get all of this, you know, basically without knowing what you're doing. That's the that's the downside of this. You don't have to really know anything. You just have to follow these steps. But the next step. The next step is then to customize it, and that's where it gets fun. That's where it gets interesting. 